In this video, we will share how to enable onboard monitoring service on Hike Connect for Teams portal. Go to Onboard Monitoring. Click on Driving Rules Configuration. Then Rule Schedule Template. Click Add to enter a name. Draw it and click Add. Click Driving Rule. Click Add. There are two different regional types of driving rules here. Event will be triggered when the selected vehicle enters the fenced area drawn on the map. Click on Region Exiting. Event will be triggered when the selected vehicle leaves the fenced area drawn on the map. Select the schedule you just created. Click here to select your target vehicle. Enter a name. And then draw the areas on the map. Click Add, then the Region Type rule is successfully added. By clicking Add, you can add route type driving rules. There are also two different rules for route types. Entering route and deviation from route, then you can draw a route on the map that corresponds to the rule. Input deviation threshold. Select schedule. And target vehicle. Enter a name here. Click to add it. Go to basic configuration to configure the parameter. Here you can configure some basic settings such as distance units, GPS reporting frequency and turn on the data stream auto off feature. Go to event receiving configuration. Here you can configure multiple event types and the platform will only accept and process them if they are ticked. Click to save. Go to driving event search. You can search for events by selecting a time interval, a specific vehicle or driver and different event types. Click Search. Then click on the license plate number. In the pop-up page, you can view a video and images documenting a phone usage violation to promote driving safety. Additional details are provided on unsafe driving behaviors, such as smoking, which highlights the importance of adhering to safety regulations. Go to Alarm. Basic Alarm Settings. Alarm Configuration and then click Add Alarm. Select Driving Monitoring, Vehicle and Suitable Event Types. Select the Resource Vehicle here. Click Add Linkage Action and Capture Picture. Select Schedule. Enable Notification Settings. Click Add. Click OK. Go to Alarm Center and view triggered events. You can also view videos and captured pictures of the event in Alarm Center. Go to Dashboard. You can see the sorting of driving data by vehicle in four different ways. You can also choose to sort by driver. View the dashboard by selecting a time. And sorting method. Go to Statistics and Reports and view detailed data in the dashboard. Click Driving Duration Report, select Target Vehicle, then select the report type and time period. Set the speed information. Click Generate Report. You can get reports generated by selecting target drivers. Go to Driving Distance Report. You can generate a driving distance report and a speeding report using virtually the same operations. However, generating driving incident reports requires the selection of incidents type. Click Online Vehicles and Locate to find located vehicles. Then the location of the vehicle is displayed. When you select a vehicle on the map, you can access the driver's information and various function buttons. Click Play Video. Live view and playback is both available. Click the two-way audio button and click start, then you can start talking to the driver. Click stop to end the conversation. By clicking on alarm output control, you can turn the alarm on or off. Add the vehicle to your favorites by clicking here. Go to Device and Maintenance. When a new firmware version is available, you can remotely upgrade online from this page. 
Pike Connect for Teams, Connected Security, Ready to Go.